our special holiday edition of Extra Butter. It's only special because everything's crushing it. Like Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker has now been unleashed. Daisy Ridley stops by to talk about the price and the awesomeness of being famous. Also, what's up with all the singing cats? Yes, the historical Broadway musical, now a major motion picture, Taylor Swift, Jennifer Hudson, Dame Judi Dench, talks about all those singing cats. Also, speaking of royalty, Sir Anthony Hopkins and the star of Netflix's new original, The Two Popes. The end of an era, that and more, it is Star Wars on this edition of Extra Butter. Woo! Hey, thanks for joining us. This is a show we talk about movies pretty much the way you talk about movies. And oh my God, who are you people? Oh my. Oh, look at this. You're <laughs> in for a special treat. For the holidays, we have a lot of the regulars back. Yeah. Over on that side, last but not least, Steph. How Steph are you? Steph Sanders, I'm good, I'm good. How y'all doing? What's well, up? Nice. Steph Sanders, I am Steph Sanders, grown man face down, you dig? Where do we find you online? Body. I am Steph Sanders everywhere. I am Steph Sanders on everything. Also, back from Brazil, world famous travel blogger. She is Kelly Savannah Deaton. How are you? I'm good. Bali, I'm not Brazilian. I was going to say, uh, what are you doing in Brazil? Yeah, I but I like it, but you're wishing good things for Brazil. I know, next we're manifesting year. that. Right. We're Anytime manifesting that. Kelly Savannah Deaton. I Simple. can't keep up with your travels. Right. All right, so Maria Gloria, Gloria Maria, you Woo! have 150 Ooh. billion followers on Instagram yep. and billion. YouTube. I can't Damn. believe you're actually hanging out with us today. I know. I am back from Brazil. <laughs> yeah. where, where do we find you on that YouTube channel? <laughs> Maria Gloria everywhere. Got it, Maria Gloria. We'll go Thank you Brazil. so much. I know. Kelly and I are going to go to Brazil. <laughs> on Mark, we'll go to Brazil. All yes. right. You too. <laughs> Any complaints, follow me at TV Marcus Allen. And I just had a Brazilian. All right, oh. so. Uh, Wait, do you mean like the service? I like, to, I, I like to be clean. All right, let's talk about Star Wars. That's the reason we're here right yeah. now. That's the reason you are here, Mark. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the reason say, you are here. Yeah. We're here, here for, for the, you. I'm here for the popcorn. We're okay. here to support you. Let me ask you guys a question. Uh, because of Mandalorian and the whole Baby Yoda oh, God, thing, are you guys not even slightly coming towards the dark side of the force, becoming a part of Star Wars? Honestly, I am. I'm excited that they brought back Carrie Fisher. Yes. That's what I'm excited about. I'm completely excited because Mandalorian is the bomb, and I'm like looking for this movie. And now. the cute little Yoda. The Yoda, the little baby Yoda. I was is excited it. for the baby Yoda for like a week, and then I was like, and all right, get it, get it off my timeline. Like, yeah. please, like, stop. It is over memed, over memed. Uh, uh, all right, off of the baby Yoda. <laughs> my theory is, though, it's brilliant marketing by Disney. There are yeah. more people than ever that are going to, because everybody that's going to go see Star Wars already knows. They fandango tickets like two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. However, course. I feel like now, like, I have people that all this had act like they've never heard of Star Wars. Wars. Hey, I love this baby Yoda. They're really? coming aboard. It's a gateway drug, I'm telling you. Star Wars. That's true. Did you bring us one? I yes, as a matter <laughs> of fact. He tweeted it. I did tweet I my baby, baby Yoda. Yoda. Doesn't it sound like you're talking dirty? Hey, I tweeted my baby, baby Yoda. Yoda. Oh, yeah. I had a chance to sit yes. down with Daisy Ridley to talk about this movie and also the thrills of being famous. Take a look. So the price of fame is that you can't go anywhere and of course now being a part of this for the rest of your life, you won't be able to go anywhere in the free world without someone knowing who you are. What's the most recent time that's worked to your advantage though? Well, it's um, it's not because I do use the tube and bus because you know, people have their lives going on and that's a very refreshing thing. So everyone's like, you're never gonna be able to walk outside. And then you're like, oh, cool. Everyone's on their phones or going to work. But what has been great, I can't lie, is the last time I was in LA with my mother, um, we got free things. We got free coffees, we got free juices, and we got free ice cream, and I thought, this is a perk. Isn't that funny? No matter how little or much you make, when someone just hands you something gratuitously, it, so it seems nice. kind of nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about musical acts? Is there an artist that you've always wanted to see that you got great seats to because you're right? No, what I'm hoping is, I talk about Ariana Grande so much, I'm really hoping that we will connect because I really want to be her friend. Um, oh, Fleetwood Mac actually were great seats. Wow. Great seats, but also that was a gift from my agent. But in terms of like, I keep saying Ariana Grande in the hope that somehow she hears, she's like, hey, come to my show, let's hang out. I yeah. love like the, uh, like her attitude. And it's not unlike you in some ways, because right there in that interview, I said, do you find that because you worked in a pub that you're nicer to service people? And she goes, no, I don't really like most people. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> kind of, not that you're like my that, girl. but she's my honest. My but type of that. girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're really my honest. type of girl. You're honest. You'd make a yeah. good Jedi, you would. You're strong. Oh, God. My uh, dry humor has definitely gotten me in some trouble, but I, I get it and I appreciate that you appreciate yeah. it. Do you appreciate the lady power of this movie? Do you guys Absolutely. like either? Absolutely. Kelly. Kelly Tran. Yeah, Kelly Tran, who was a standout a couple times ago. Fan favorite. Right? Yeah, everyone's yeah. really excited about yeah. her. I've been seeing. I Huge. sat down with her and Naomi, and like back in the day when I first talked to her, she was bouncing off the walls, but now she's kind of subtle into her thing. She's yeah. had yeah. the media training she yep. knows now. She got Zen. Take a look. 
Probably for the first time in your life, you've experienced like people in restaurants trying to be coy about it. Oh my God! Do you see a lot of that going on? It does happen sometimes, but I will say, my hair is very different in real life Mm. than how it was in the movie, and I don't think I look like my character that much. Yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. yeah. So the real hardcore people. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like kind of have this photo facial thing going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's her. Yeah. Um, there are so many people that have not seen the movie um, for weeks after this opens because everybody's trying to go see it at the same yeah. time. Um, tell them the one thing not to miss. Don't blink your eye because you're gonna miss this one thing. Just don't blink. Don't blink at all. Oh, at all. Nothing. Don't blink. You gotta get this like that <laughs> clockwork orange situation. Just like just yeah, just like up your eyes open the whole time. Uh, yeah. How awesome are they? Uh, yeah. Junus is your Chewbacca. Does a solid job. Do you do good, Chewbacca? I, Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know that you like he's constipated. He yeah. needs some medical. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. I need some constipation medicine. You need some visine in the water. <laughs> you need some fiber. Chewbacca. Jeez. Chewbacca. I don't got it. Chewbacca. I can do the pog. What pork pog? What's that thing called? The little pork. Oh what? Porg? Anyway, we could do that, remember the... Do it. I don't remember. All right. Oh. All right, so anyway, if you want to see the it's interview with Anthony Daniels, the only person that's been in every single Star Wars movie... As C-3PO. No. As C-3PO. C-3PO. Yeah. C-3PO. I got it, yeah. close. Kind of. Uh, and Junis, jump online, more of those chats there, because I can tell you guys don't want to talk about Star Wars anymore. Have I'll say not. this much. It doesn't disappoint. It's a yeah. nice end cap. And there's a reason that the stars are really excited. You can tell when stars aren't excited about right. the way the movie yeah. turned out. They are digging this. There's some reshoots to shoot some uh, scenes that fix some minor things that they found in testing. Wow. I think it worked. What about yeah. you? Yeah, I really like it. I mean, I'm not even a Star Wars person, but yeah. like I said, I'm just I'm with the lady power. I love the future is female. Yep. You know, yep. message. I'm with it. I'm with it. <laughs> yeah, yep. I agree. The cast is amazing. I mean, this movie means so much to so many people. So it's just nice to go with all the nerds. Yeah. No offense. I support you and watch it through their eyes and you really get an understanding of what this movie has meant to so many people for however many years. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I have to admit, I was very excited about this because of the new cast, because of the new people in it. And it did not, it did not disappoint at all. No. And yeah. over, 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 what I want to, what I want to say. Over exceeded. Yes. There you go. That's, I, I you. would be remiss if I didn't also bring up the legendary Billy D. Williams too. Billy, Billy, Billy. Billy. All right, so that's going to wrap up our Star Wars chat. Coming up in a moment, what's up with all these singing cats? Yes, the Broadway musical now hits the big screens in a way you won't believe. We'll talk about that with the cast next. Hey, welcome back to Extra Butter. I couldn't sit around talking about Star Wars all day long, though I wanted to. No, we We wouldn't want to leash this time. We had to. We had to. Hey, jump in comments down below. If you love Star Wars, have my back because they don't love Star Wars so much. We still have your back, though. Oh, we we support it, but we have to. It's all balanced, Mark. Joke's on you. I wrapped up the Star Wars segment so that we could talk more about Cats, the musical. Here we go. Yeah. All right, first of all, take a look at Cats. You have to admit, like, visually, it is stunning. It is. The dancing is amazing. The music and star power is there. The star power. Oh, my God. Jennifer Hudson's there. That's all I care about. The cast is They got Idris Elba. Yes, Idris Elba. They got Judy Dench to act like a cat at Cat School, you guys. The cast went to Cat School to pretend that they were cats. Wow. Can you imagine being in that? room and seen Ian McKellen, right. Judy Dench, Jennifer Hudson, Idris all Elba. of them, Taylor Smith, in, oh in cat God. school to act like cats. All right, now let's come back to the real world. How are you feeling about the movie? <laughs> Honestly, when I first saw the trailer, I, I felt like I was going on a bad, like, acid trip. trip. Right? Like, it, it, it was very, I was like, what is happening? Right. The faces orange. are super yeah. Yeah. Right? Like, orange, But then too. again, like Mark said, you can't deny the music. The, the star, star power, power. Yeah. and it's a classic, guys. Like yeah. Cats is like a like a legend in theaters and Broadway. It's yes. Taylor Swift alone is gonna bring a ton of new eyes to oh, this yeah. whole story. Oh yeah. Energy. You know, Jennifer Hudson's gonna bring me. That's, yeah. that's all. I <laughs> that's exactly what I was Jennifer getting to. Hudson. So let's be honest. You, you you pay the admission to hear Jennifer Hudson yes. sing "Memories," which yeah. is a famous song, the, the uh, Tony Award winning song from Cats. <laughs> I sat down with her to talk about that along with Francesca. You might not know Francesca, but she is the world's leading ballerina. Yep. Principal wow. dancer. Do wow. you know how long that takes? And she's so young. She knocks it out the park dancing in this movie. It's insane. Wow. Yeah. I'm Take so a look. excited. What's it like going through the process, making this movie, wondering what it's going to look like, knowing that there's so many layers beyond your performance that are going to be added to it, and then getting to see it for the first time? Describe it. 
Wow, you did right there. <laughs> um, having to trust and use our imaginations, I think, was um, the most the thing that made it so different sure. and interesting at the same time. You know, because it's like for Grizabella, she had a tail and a coat. You know, but then it's like, okay, now you have to use your imagination and to add everything else that will be added later, you know, right. or being on a, a, a magnified set and imagining ourselves as cats and becoming that. I think it's the most different project I've ever done. Both of you are incredibly respected in, in your fields, um, but at the same time, the fanboy, fangirl has to come out of you. Wow. Who are you most looking forward to meeting on the set besides each other? I mean, it's an amazing cast, so again, I was just happy to be in the cast with them or sure. in, in our set chair sitting next to Judy Dench, like, wow, that's your Judy Dench. <laughs> oh, right. How awesome were they? In fact, producers should probably be thanking Jennifer Hudson. Yeah. They probably didn't realize yeah. at that time, well, maybe they did, yeah. what was going to happen, because there are people like, uh, I'll out this guy. You know a guy named Patrick Stoner, who's yeah. a legendary uh, yes. movie critic, yes. Yes. who sat with yes. his arm crossed the entire movie. Hated it. And then all of a sudden that happened. Niagara Falls, like really? everybody. So you're people, people, could hate it, people could hate it, and then they just forget all about it and love it. That's like giving birth, right? Isn't that why what? people procreate? They yeah. hate the labor, but then the baby's placed in their arm, like Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson singing. placed in my arm. As the yeah. only person Jennifer who's given birth. Yeah. As the only on. person who's oh, given true. birth. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. Isn't that's that right? true? I can relate. Absolutely. See? Okay. All right. All right. I got this. So, I have yeah, a cat. That moment, I, <laughs> I didn't give birth to it, but I have it. And you know, Jennifer Hudson's been through some things. If you know about her personal yeah. life, all yeah. of a sudden you got this lady dressed up like a cat, yeah. and yet again a layer of CG, a cat on top of that, Weird. singing memories, and all of a sudden you're empathizing, yeah. you're yeah. falling right yeah. along with her. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's, yeah. let's give it up. Yeah. 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 Acting She's like won a cat. pretty much about every award imaginable. Legendary. One of the most respected actresses. Yeah. Dressed up like a cat. I sat down with Laurie and Dame Judy Ditch to talk about it. Take a look. You said you've screened it before. You said you've only seen bits and pieces. And, and I think to quote you off camera, you said, only when you were naked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> naked cats, you know, without any fur or whiskers or. So I've got quite a thrill coming. <laughs> As a classically trained actress, is it is it kind of wild to be in this scenario where you look around and everyone's wearing these motion capture suits? That's ve the whole business of of um, CGI and things is completely new to me. I also did earlier this year Artemis Fowl with Ken Branagh, and that's the same thing. You're surrounded with you have no idea really what the end result is going to be like, and and you know it's a it's an incredibly exciting thing to look forward to because you you. I, in the Artemis file, I had no idea, you know. Sure. There's going to be boiling sea and cast of thousands. And, and in this case, <laughs> you, instead of these relatively naked looking bodies, there are going to be people that all, are. All in coats and fur. <laughs> coats and fur everywhere. <laughs> is her voice not like butter? Oh, it her. is. In everything she, she does. Do any yeah. role in It I'm is busy extra now. buttery, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Uh, How we do uh, Wacka, wacka, wacka. Uh, yeah, what else stands about this movie? Uh, uh, Jason Derulo. Jordan Sparks' ex is in. Oh, yeah. Jordan Sparks' ex, Jason Derulo, Jason is in this movie. Derulo. Jason Derulo. Yeah, you have to see it. He doesn't quite sound like that, but it was close. Yeah, how does he sound, Smarty? <laughs> <laughs> uh, watch James Corden, right. Carpool Karaoke, and he does a great one. Or yeah. how about when I ask him to sing his name? Oh, did you? I did. <gasps> and I know Show he's, us. He you know that went down? Oh, jeez. Take a look. I have to tell you a story, and this has happened since the last time I saw you. The first time I interviewed you, you were uh -huh. making your rounds for the radio. I told my music director at the time that your song, what you say, was going to be number one. We made a <laughs> bet on it, and if he, if it went number one and stayed number one, uh -huh. he had to have you singing your name as his ringtone for the rest of his life anytime <laughs> I call him. Word. So I know anytime I call Chad Roofer, he hears Jason Derulo. Oh, that's incredible, bro. What? That's, I like that. Uh, so you bet on me, bro. I like that. I bet on you. <laughs> and I bet on you in this movie, too, and you do not fail. Uh, thank you very much, my brother. Guess what? Did Taylor Swift make up a song about me? Absolutely not. No, she didn't, but no. we did talk about it. That's coming up <laughs> oh, next. Oh, oh, talk about Mar it's the best. and Rebel <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Extra Auto. Oh, because the cast is so big, we are still talking about the musical Cat, now a major motion picture. We're about to begin. I love it. Yep. And to reiterate what I said oh. before, 
visually stunning. And there are some things that aren't in a traditional Broadway musical, like for instance, the funny stuff when James Corden shows up, yeah. Yeah. very funny. And then of course, Rebel Wilson. Uh, we got oh the comedic God. relief stack, yo. We yeah. got the comedic relief stack. They yes. called in the big guns. Yes, they, they, they the really guns. did. James Corden did a fantastic job. I think he's funny all the time. Yeah. yeah. And then Rebel Wilson is it's always classic. on. Those yeah. are always incredible. Two always. people that just by talking, they're funny. They're like funny. they don't even need to crack a joke. Yeah. No. They're just they're so witty and so on it. Everything the, they the say. The party is starts when they walk in. I sat down with the famous Broadway co-star Robert Fairchild and Rebel to talk about it, and I may have made a faux pas. I'll ask you guys, just watch. Oh, I'll ask you after go again. Take a look. <laughs> you gotta, now you're gonna hear both. Not only is it updated, but each and every one of you gets to bring a little bit of you, a lot of you, to the picture. For instance, there's a lot of Rebel Wilson in this performance <laughs> that you get. Are you talking about the crotch shots? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have to go? Well, yeah, there's that. No, and. you're talking about. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Cats is not known for its comedy, so uh, myself and I think particularly James Corden, sure. we tried to put a lot of our personalities in to try to, um, you know, create some comedy because this is a fun family movie and. Um, and and it's different in that in that regards to the stage show and um, there's no dialogue jokes like in the stage show right. so we we added some. <laughs> All right. So do you think she was offended or thought that I was saying something that I wasn't really? I, I was mean, not talking about yeah. her crotch. No 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 no. Prove no. it. Prove it. Prove it. How about you prove that? It's that you can't, case you can't closed. Jump, jump inside case my head. Closed. Like your honor. Ladies us, and gentlemen of the yeah, jury. None of us are talking I mean, about I mean, I see Wilson's how crash. it could have been taken that way, but I, I also see where Mark was coming from. Right. It's, it was one of those just awkward little situations. Well, you because guys. she brought it up. That he has a plethora of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, Jason Derulo brought it up. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's yeah, right, so. because he said everyone's like yeah. naked anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You look around and you're practically naked with a room full of a lot yeah. of famous people. And you're sniffing each other's butts. Yes, it's real. You know, there are a lot of people that are probably trolling out there that would like to see Taylor Swift in that way. Well, guess what? You can. Yeah. Yep, she is a cat. Dude, in her real life, she's all about the cats. So this That's role true. was made perfect. for her. Perfect. 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 Made perfect. for her. And it's she perfect. wrote that song. Per she wrote again. a lot. She wrote perfect. Perfect. Yeah. She we, wrote that song for Francesca. I know. And performed it for her. We went behind the scenes to talk to her. Take a look. Cat School is so unique. Um, Sarah does cat school and she's incredible. Basically, we go in and study the movements of a cat. It's it's really exciting and fun to learn about, you know, how they how they hold their posture, how they sense things, um, kind of just the anatomy of a cat that can make it more conducive to how a human can inhibit that kind of spirit. And it's just so fun. I mean. Cat school. If you told me I was going to get to go to cat school every day for work. So you got Taylor Swift in it yeah. too. So I think yeah, there might I mean, be some people yeah. that are going to see this movie that have no idea what Cats is about. No. And they are in for a treat. Yes. A cat treat. <laughs> <laughs> Did she write a love song about you, Mark? No, nothing like that happened. Aww. We didn't get together. You got to get together. <laughs> you got to break up before Taylor Swift will write about you. I'll say this. <laughs> Someone's gonna make you go see this movie, appease them, and go see it. You're gonna cry when Jennifer Hudson yeah. sings, right? Give me somebody you I'll love. Go see right. it. Yeah. If you don't know what's up with all these singing cats and you've seen the trailer, when you walk out of it, you're still gonna be saying, What's what up with all these yeah. singing yeah. cats? Yeah. All right, coming up next, what's better than a pope? Two, Two popes. Two popes. Kelly sits down with him next. Nothing like ice cream for the holidays. Welcome back. Why? It is extra yeah, 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 butter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, where's the ice cream? You know, guys, kids are just showing ice cream over there. Oh. Being with you guys makes me feel joyful and triumphant. Thanks oh. for hanging out. Yeah. Silent Thank you. night. Oh, yeah. I was gonna sing a Catholic song, but I can't think of any. Oh, good segue. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Anything, just add all. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna invite you guys to midnight mass to get us into the two popes thing, despite the fact that I'm not Catholic. All right. Yeah. So, but two popes. I'm hearing great things. Kelly, tell us about it. Anthony Hopkins, yes. Jonathan Price, the yes. old pope, getting the new, trying to talk the new pope into becoming the pope we now have and love. It's more of like, it's more kind of like a buddy comedy because they don't get along. They have all these different views, and then throughout the movie, you see it kind of yeah. change, and yeah. you see them become great friends, and you're like, whoa, popes watch TV. Like, it kind of will blow your mind a little bit because yeah. you think this movie isn't for you and I promise you there's something in it that you'll relate to. Um, raise yeah. your hand if you're at this table and you're Catholic. 
All right. Oh. Can we go see? So, wouldn't you want to go see a funny movie about two popes? Absolutely. Absolutely. I asked Kelly right now, I was like, is this movie what we're expecting? And she was like, no. And no. I was like, what? Exactly. Love what? It. I love that. Exactly. I love that because I. I don't want to go see a movie that it's going to just be like lecturing at me. That's what we go yeah. to church for. Hell right. Okay. And I don't want that. I want to go laugh and, and like relay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm stoked. All right. Yeah. So you sit down with the cast and film workers. What are we talking about? We're talking about uh, stepping into the role of playing this. I, I mean, you're not stepping into playing an average Joe. You're stepping no. into playing the most beloved Pope ever, exactly. Jonathan yeah. Price. Let's talk about the Pope in the room. What was the very first thing you did when you, A, found out you were going to do this movie, and B, what was the very first thing you did to prepare for your role as Pope Francis? Well, I began preparing for uh, Pope Francis, not knowing I was preparing for it, by responding to him when he was created Pope. He was the first Pope I had ever really taken any notice of, um, because I felt he was, he was talking my kind of language. He was talking uh, to the world about how we needed change within society. Um, when I was asked to play him, it came not as too much of a surprise, because the day he was created Pope, the internet was full of images of the mm -hmm. two of us side by side. <laughs> either me or High Sparrow and Pope Francis. Well, I'm telling you, it's like a buddy comedy. You just gotta go, you gotta watch it at home before it. you judge it. Watch it's it. It's like Step Brothers, but like Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. That's a really good Hilarious, that's a good analogy. <laughs> yeah. It's like Ride Along if you were in the Pope Mobile. Yeah. Right. Something like that. Like the Pope, when he, when he kissing babies. There you go. So says going the only the Catholic on, its, on the set. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> you guys, I feel all warm and fuzzy. You're among my favorite people on the planet to hang oh. out with what and to want? talk about movies even enjoy. <laughs> just to wrap up the show. Oh, all right. <laughs> Remember all of these interviews that we've had here today and our Star Wars special, yes. our Jumanji special, yes. you can find them right now on YouTube. And shout out to the men and women overseas. Oh, yeah. Hope Thank you have an amazing holiday. Right. Thanks for watching on AFN. Thank you. Subscribe, right. subscribe, subscribe. And we're sorry for this one. Sorry. Popcorn. Don't apologize for I me. I want a churro. Popcorn.